All right, just going to do a quick video refuting and exposing a very dangerous heresy preached by the cult of Mormonism. The cult, you know, the Mormon church started by the astrological witch, you know, Freemason Joseph Smith. And this heresy of Mormonism essentially bumps God down to the likeness of a corruptible man. Of course, the God of Mormonism is not the God of the Bible. But you see, in our society, when they say Jesus, you know, people think that it's talking about the Jesus Christ of the Bible. Well, Paul warned about false Christ in 2 Corinthians chapter 11. So... Their Jesus is not the Jesus of the Bible. And how we know that is they bump the deity, you know, they bump their God down to the likeness of a corruptible man. That's how you know it's not the God of the Bible. And here's the proof of that from their own writings. This is in the Mormon Doctrine, uh, page 321, uh, Joseph Smith, Times and Seasons, Volume 5, you know, uh, the sources in the, uh, the, the uh, description, says God used to be a man on another planet. Okay. So we're bumping God down to the likeness of man, like I said earlier. This is in the Articles of Faith by James Talmadge, you know, page 38. Therefore we know that both the Father and the Son are in form and statue perfect men. Each of them possess a tangible body of flesh and bones. Kind of like Romans 1 where it talks about, you know, the, the haters of God, the, you know, the reprobates. They make God into the likeness of corruptible man. This is in the Doctrines of Covenants, 100, uh, I think it's a... Uh, verse 130, sorry, 130 verse 22, and you compare it with this thing from the Book of Mormon, says the Father has a body of flesh and bones as tangible as man's. Really? What does the Word of God say about that? Okay, well again, you can read Romans chapter 1 verse 18 down to verse 32, it pretty much describes it perfectly, but 2 Corinthians chapter 3 verse 17 says, now the Lord is that Spirit, and where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. John 4, 24 says God is a spirit, and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. And I did another video refuting this heresy of bumping God down to the likeness of a man. Uh, Mormonism, their God is not the God of the Bible. Their Christ is a false Christ. Mormonism is just another one of the end times false religions that, they see, they have a form of Jesus Christ, just like how the Catholics or the Muslims or even some of the Hindus and Buddhists will have a Jesus Christ, but it's a false Christ. It's another Christ. You know, it, it's Satan masquerading as an angel of light, to put it bluntly. So I wanted to show you guys that. Don't be deceived by Mormonism. Just because they preach about Jesus does not mean that they're brethren, because their Jesus is not the Jesus Christ of God's word. So anyway, don't be deceived. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.